Hello and welcome to this video dealing with site modeling in Revit 2012. In this video we're going to look at how to build up your turbo surface so it shows both existing and new conditions. And in order to do that we'll look at the function called created regions, we'll look at phases and we'll finally make a schedule that counts how much soil we'll have to fill in um, or uh, take away in order to remodeling our topo surface. I've cheated a little bit and created a topo surface um, in a similar way as done in session 2. This topo surface um, contains a property line and um, I'll start out using the property line to split my surface and I'll pick lines and I'll finish this and what you'll notice is that now I have a turbo surface for the surroundings I could call this surrounding and I have one for um, the plot. And what you should notice is that so far it's placed in the new construction. Revit does that as default, um, but actually we should place it in the existing because that's our existing uh, conditions before we are modifying the terrain. So I'll put it in existing and I'll call it existing as well and I'll apply that. And you notice that the graphics changed. Um, we'll come back to that later. Revit has this function called graded region and what that allows us to do is to make an exact copy of a topo surface that we choose. So I'll make a topo surface, a copy of this one and right away you'll notice that that's being placed in new construction doesn't change the name I gave it here, so I'll call it new, maybe turbo surface, after modification maybe, and apply that. And I'm now able to do modifications maybe similar to what I did in the video called best practice. I'll move a few of these points, I could also add a few more, um, but this gives you an idea. And I'll now finished my modifications and I'll show you that within the view of it I'll be able to say okay I want to show existing condition apply that and this is what they look like and I'll show new construction that's what they look like and this also applies in 3D where I'll be able to jump between new construction and existing that shows the existing condition and that shows the new construction. What I now like to do is um, maybe just before continuing I'll just show you that what controls uh, the view of these faces um, is partly sorry uh, how the model site is built up, how many contour lines we have and so on, um, but also if I go to manage we have our faces here um, and we have our graphics overrides and, um, and this can be helpful to study in order to maybe make a plan drawing that shows both the uh, new and the existing uh, conditions. Instead, I'll focus in this video on how we can take out quantities. Um, we now have two turbo surfaces, one of the existing and one of the new condition, and we would like to revit to calculate how much soil has been either um, filled in or has been driven away. So we'll go to view and we'll make a schedule and quantity takeout and um, that should be based on the category called turbo surface. And we'll say OK. 
and we'll add maybe cut and fill and I also gave it a name and um, we could also take a look at the surface area or projected area on net cut fill. I'll add this and say OK and then I'll notice that uh, for this specific project I'll have to fill in um, 77 um, cubic meters in order to level out my platform. Maybe I could use some of the uh, soil from digging out the house. Uh, maybe I think this is too much, too expensive. Um, maybe it could just be nice to know when ordering your building materials or your soil. So this is a very helpful tool. Um, you can always go back and modify your um, schedule. Maybe I want my names to be placed first and so on. Um, that's smaller details. Okay, I'll end for now and I hope you got an idea of how to use graded regions in order to create uh, existing and new conditions for your turbo surfaces and also got an idea of how to look into change the graphical um, expression of it but also how to uh, use it for taking out quantities. Goodbye for now and thank you for listening.